M0FXB zones have now been implemented on the Radto RT950. Get the latest firmware. So go to the link provided and you'll see that the Pro model here is the CPS 1.2.0. You do need that. And then the latest firmware is 0 0.23 here, ending 114. So load that and then go to the software which we have here. And you'll see as I go in, I'm in channel mode at the moment. So obviously read your radio and the normal, the normal thing that you would see is just the first one here. If I just go to my first zone, we'll just go to all channels. And then every channel on the radio is, well, I didn't realize I had so many channels. Now it's loaded all the channels, even if they're blank, but I've only got, you know, 25 channels here. But if you go into zone mode, like so, zone mode, you'll see we can now select zone. So the first zone, I just named it VHF channel. Then we'll go, you name it here, you just put the name in here, we'll go next. And I've called this one UHF, and we've added a UHF channel there. VHF channels, and we just go next here at the bottom. It is saying you can import a chirp CSV, not tried that. So someone try that and let me know. <clears throat> and next one, and it's a blank zone, this one. So zone five of 15. So we could call this one marine band, for example. Band. And, and then just create a, a marine band channel. I know this isn't a, an exact marine band channel. It won't transmit. Anyway, marine band, we'll just call it marine. I could just try a chirp file. Um, but uh, we'd have to know it's just gonna make this video really long so and then we, there's another zone created there and then you can go last zone go back with the last zone button the thing that you'll notice that's different on the actual radio now is that when you if we just expand the radio here because there is a dedicated zone button but if we go menu go across to zone and select You've got zone or channel you can select. So zone mode or just all the channels showing. Or you can go down one, but zone select. And all the names that I've been putting in, including I haven't written to the radio yet. So notice now these are the ones that were in before. If I just quickly write to the radio, uh, just click write. Of course, select your COM port just here. So you're selecting. Let me just show you again. Settings, serial port, COM12, click OK, and then we write to the radio. And of course, save this file. See it writing. And the, you know, the new, I love the new firmware because it's added um, signal meters to the spectrum. I might show you to the spectrum and the HF mode. So that's success there. So we just go complete, cancel. So now if we go menu, <coughs> zone, zone select, and you'll see that marine has appeared. It has, yeah, there it is there. So yeah, you know, people have been asking for zones for ages and it does make complete sense. If I press and hold the one, and there's no antenna connected at the moment, but you actually get a signal meter um that's my tmr hotspot coming in you actually get a signal meter now and if you press and hold the zero and go into hf mode and there's no antenna connected at the moment when you receive there's a signal meter so i don't know if anyone's about but look we've got a signal meter and it does actually work No one about, let's just go 7074 menu, just go to, there you go, FT8, there's always someone on FT8. <laughs> so I think it's fantastic radio, myself, one of the best, I can't think of one at this price level, around the £60, that does air band, VHF, UHF, CB bands, HF bands, and now has zones, um, 
Bluetooth, GPS, Bluetooth programming. It just goes on and on and on. Anyone that's sent theirs back because there's bugs in it, your loss. Anyway, please uh, hit the like and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.